one week on since Typhoon Haiyan hit the Philippines. And the full extent of the devastation is still unclear. From the air, the city of Tacloban still lies in ruins. And on the ground, people are now living in the open, salvaging what they can. And among the ruins, they're still waiting for help. Here, maybe a thousand lined up in the hope of food aid. Among them, we met Abigail, widowed by the typhoon. Now she and her two toddlers have been surviving on biscuits. 30 minutes are very long line. It's a very long line. We will wait because their food, we, we will eat. It's a scene of confusion and hopelessness. So this is the front of the line, but as you can see, there's no food distribution going on here. And some of these people have been waiting four hours in the blazing sun. Take a look around, and a lot of them are kids with their families. Yet just feet away, two lorries laden with food, but no one coordinating distribution, so the people stay hungry. Each morning now, local authorities and relief groups share updates. The Philippine government has been criticized for a slow response, but the minister in charge told me they're overwhelmed. Trucks, I only have eight trucks that are from the armed forces that are delivering uh, goods and foodstuffs to the communities. For the whole city? Eight trucks? For the whole province. But it's starting to happen. Now at least you can see Tacloban's main roads are clear aid can start getting out, but any thought of rebuilding is still a long way off. Rajesh Merchandani, BBC News, Takloban in the Philippines.